Hello, hello. If you are new here, first of all, welcome to Wind Down Live. Welcome. I am very on theme tonight because we are going to talk about something that's coming up for Black Girls Wine. Hey, y'all. Hey, hey, everyone. How y'all doing? My name is Shayla Vernado, if you're new here. I am the founder of Black Girls Wine and the host of this weekly show, Wine Down Live. Every single week, I go live and I review your next favorite wine. I mean, you might not like it, you might not love it, and I might not either, but we're at least going to try it together. I got to say hello to all my wine friends. Hello. Hey, Alicia. Hello, Rose and Watermelon. Thank you. Hello, Donnie. Hi, the bougie budgeter. I love your name, by the way. I love that name. Love that name. Hey, Veronica. Hey, Chanel. Hello, Andrea. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Make sure as you're logging on, you go ahead and share this video because I decided that since tonight is such a special episode, I'm going to give away glasses all night. Are you ready to win some glasses? Are you ready? Hello, Beatrice. Hello, Elsie. Hi, Ro Roam. Did I say that right? Roam. Um, hey, Doe. All right, y'all. I'm so excited. I have these glasses on because in case you checked your email today, we're going to be talking about this year's retreat. Okay, <laughs> and I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek. I'm super excited. We're going to talk about all the details. We're going to talk about how you can attend. Hey, Terry. Hey, Angela. And we're going to also, of course, discuss wine. I also have a big announcement as it pertains to the society. So you might, you might not want to leave early tonight. You might want to stay for the whole episode. This is big announcements, okay? This year's theme is Tropical Wine Paradise for the retreat. And I'm really excited to tell you about it, okay? But let's get into this first giveaway. Have you shared the video? Look, let me pull my top up. Listen, y'all know how it is when you go strapless. You know, you gotta keep it up. <laughs> All right, let's get into this first giveaway. I'm gonna pick a name. These ladies tag some friends. Hello, Quentin Johnson. Tisha says she wasn't even ready. Hey, Tiffany. Hey, Wanesta. Hey, BGW Dad. Hey, BGW Mom. My parents are on and watching y'all. All right. Are y'all ready? I'm going to do the first giveaway. And then I might just start off with two giveaways. Because who doesn't want to win? Hey, Courtney. Uh, uh. Okay, Dorothy says she did get that email. It's a tropical retreat. Yes, this year's theme is a retreat. And y'all, I'm going all in. I'm wearing, I'm going to be deck, dressed, you know, decked out of my tropical gear for our two days of intensive wine, drinking, tasting, celebrating, all that good stuff. Okay, so let me see. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pick out this first name. Our first winner, and you do have to be present to win. If you are not present, I'm going to move on to the next person, okay? And I'll give you a, a few seconds. Something just fell, y'all. Something fell off my hand. That's why I looked down like that. I don't know what it was. But hopefully it wasn't like my earring back or something crazy, right? Okay, it wasn't, so I don't know what it was. But, all right, let's go. Clarice or Clarice? Clarice, you are the first winner, if you are here, make sure you drop, you know, let me know you're here so that I can not move on and give away to the next person. Um, for the rest of our giveaways throughout the show, though, let me tell you guys, if you want to win a glass tonight, you have to do two things. One, you have to share the video, which means if you're over on Facebook right now, you got to hit that share button if you want a chance to win a glass, okay? Two, you have to um, be the first person to drop an answer whenever I ask a question or say a word or whatever, okay? So those are the rules. Those are the same rules all night. Hello, Becoming Dr. Walker, PhD. Hey, PhD, come through, PhD. I love when we show up and show out. Come on. All right, so 
drop a wine glass if you shared the video. Looks like Carice is not with us. So it's time to move on to the next winner. Let's see who else is going to win tonight. All right. Tam. Is Tam on? And Instagram, you guys did not tag your friends on our most recent post. So I couldn't, I, I didn't have any, I didn't have anybody from there. So these are all Facebook people. That's why there are no handles. <laughs> um, these are all our Facebook friends. All right. Tam, if you are available, the last person, um, Tam, if you're available, let me know. It's only one more person left. So, all right, you're here. You're watching the show. Let's talk about, hey, Gail, what we're drinking tonight. Who went and picked up their OPP? Did you guys go pick up your OPP? This is tonight's varietal. It is a Pinot Noir by Mason Noir Wines um, by none other than Andre Mack. I have had the pleasure of meeting Andre in person. And I think, did we have, I thought we had one of his wines last week. Um, so I don't have to give you the whole history. But Andre has a recent book, okay? And if you're watching this show live, guess what? If you've already shared the video, the first question of tonight is... What is the name of Andre's book? Can you tell me what the name of Andre's book is? If you can tell me the name of it, you're going to be the first winner for tonight's giveaway. And remember, you have to have shared the video, okay? So the first winner tonight, you have to be able to share the video, okay? Um, Chanel says she went to four stores and couldn't find it. My God, that is a lot of stores. You might have to order it online. <laughs> Mix it. She is still at work. Yay. Come through, Pino. Get that goat cheese. Ew. Listen, first of all, I do need some goat cheese for this. Okay. <laughs> um, Chandra, we're so glad you made it. Lisa, we're glad you made it. Hey, Ronnie. Let's see. Um, Lisa said she's going to get it. She wasn't able to pick it up ahead of time. Um, let's see. All right. Do any of you guys know what the, what his book is? I'm going to tell you guys, I've been reading it. So I guess nobody's going to win the first giveaway. <laughs> but I just, I've been reading his book. I started it a couple days ago and it is so good. I just went to Happy Cork like you recommended and found it. Very good. Very good. Terry is the winner. So I'm just, Terry is the winner. Um, Terry is the winner for our first question um, for tonight. The name of Andre Mack's book is called 99 Bottles. And I'm going to tell you guys something. It is worth picking up. Um, let me turn the music down because, you know, y'all know I don't like when the music is like loud and I feel like I'm yelling <laughs> but no the name of the book is not the winemaker I'm gonna move my stand a little bit closer bring y'all closer come closer so I don't have to lean forward um but yeah so listen the name of the book is called 99 bottles okay and it's very very good um Terry make sure you DM me your address and everything so listen um the book is about Andre Max wine journey but he suggests 99 bottles that you should try uh, some of them i think he's just sharing his experience you don't actually have to try them because we all know like our first wines were probably like can wines or what was that wine that everybody tried what was y'all's first wine like stuff like that maybe not <laughs> or if you haven't had it why not i mean take a trip through his book and try all the wines but his first few wines he's like telling his story i downloaded it on audible i like to listen to books read in the author's voice um i do still enjoy reading um but i like to listen to books read in the author's voice and so it's really interesting because he's telling his story and he's talking about the wine he had and the first place he had it and he's able to like reference different places in history and he's basically going through and suggesting wines that you should try um so it's very very good it's a great book andre is a very interesting man he's got a great story to share so definitely pick it up um black winemakers i i am so i've really enjoyed doing this black winemaker series during black history month and i think that i'm probably gonna do it maybe again in june um june you know juneteenth it happens in June and I think just June will be our second Black History Month of the year. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do, listen, you know, we black all year long. So, <laughs> but 
But I think I, what I will do is I will go myself to review at least one black wine a month to help you guys discover new black made wines. And June might be our next Black History Month. Okay, so listen, we, we just gonna keep it going. But what I'm excited about with this first things first is that this top is a twist top. It's a screw cap. So Terry said she likes that idea. Adrian said her first wine was a red, but she was like 11, so she doesn't know the name of it. First of all, not that you were 11. Who who gave you this wine? Was this grandma? Y'all know what my first drink was? I'm going to tell y'all. My first drink was actually beer. <laughs> my grandfather, my mom's dad, gave it to us because he felt like, you know, I'm going to give it to you and you're not going to want it. And he was absolutely right. I actually did not drink a lot in college. I was not that girl that was hanging out drunk all the time. That was not me. I was not a heavy drinker. So I think that in theory, um, what my grandfather did <laughs> worked because <laughs> I didn't drink a lot. I didn't start drinking for real till I got in the real world and had to become an adult. Um, Hey, Lauren, <laughs> which grape is my favorite? Lauren, that's a really good question. I don't have a favorite. I drink everything. But if I absolutely have to pick one, I would say Chardonnay. And that's just because I love champagne and I like sparkling wine. So, <laughs> um, hey, Ladina, tell Marilyn not to kill our Black Magic Joy. Look, Boone's Farm. Beatrice said her first uh her first wine was Boone's Farm. I don't remember my first wine, I think it was and I know I've told this story. I can't remember off the top. I can't remember right now. It was Oh, it was a white. I want to say it was like Pinot Grigio or something like that. One of my older friends drank it. No, I take that back. I'm lying. My first wine was definitely like a champagne or a sparkling wine. You know, when you're young and in the club and they popping bottles and all that stuff. It was something sparkling. Um, hello, Mrs. Jeter. Mine's too for my grandfather. See, grandparents be putting us on, y'all. Uh, Behringer Chardonnay. Oh, I have had that. I've had that. Uh, Nikki said her first drink was Coors Beer too. Um, Donnie said hers was Arbor Mist. Honey, I think we all had a bottle of that Arbor Mist. It used to come in that odd shaped bottle and you used to pick it up on the way day out of town. Everybody got a bottle. Child, what a waste of calories, okay? You know, when you get over 30, you gotta watch what you consuming, right? <laughs> like, you get over 30 and it's just kind of like, wait a minute. <laughs> like, I'm not drinking that. It's too much sugar. Give me something dry and let me live my best life. <laughs> like, so yeah, what a waste, right? Um, I remember Arbor Miss. I know I hadn't thought about it in so long. A reason was my first. Then I graduated to Moscato and now it's too sweet for me. Chandra, that happens. That happens. As your palate expands, you just like start to put away like all of the sweet wines. You kind of push them aside and there's a place for them, right? So it's not terrible. Sweet wines aren't terrible at all. Moscato is not terrible. Neither is a sweet Riesling. Um, but as you drink more and that kind of thing, you know, you 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 start to expand your palate. You know, you know I just be moving stuff around. I want to make sure y'all can like see me and get a good view. Oh, wait. Okay. Can y'all hear me? I want to make sure, make sure everybody can hear me. Check, check. Remember wine coolers? Yes, I do remember wine coolers. Now, for some reason, I, I never really like wine coolers. Have you tried jam jar? I love jam jar. Love jam jar. I think it's really good. It's perfect. It's a perfect after dinner uh, wine. My first wine was Satai Angelica because my husband went on a work trip and had it shipped back. Okay. All right, let's get into this OPP and let's talk about the Black Girls Wine Retreat, okay? We're going to talk about it all at the same time. But first, if you are, are you drinking? Who's drinking with me tonight? Who's drinking the OPP with me? And if you're not drinking the OPP, tell me what you are drinking. What are you drinking? Y'all, I feel like my ponytail is like leaning to the side. Okay, I feel like it's even now. <laughs> Yeah, ladies, you understand if you're watching, you know, sometimes you're looking at yourself and you're like, there's something off. I need one little and you, you get that one piece of hair together and you're good. Um, okay, Rose and Watermelon is drinking OPP with me. Rose, tell me what you're smelling. I want to hear what you're smelling. Okay, on the nose, I am getting red fruit. Um... Where's my wheel? Y'all know I like to I like to have my wheel. I try to guess, but I really like to have my wheel. And if you're wondering what wheel I'm talking about, it's this one. 
<laughs> um, this is actually in our Black Girls Wine Amazon store. So if you're looking for a wheel, um, I already put it there so you don't have to look far for it. Hi, Lee. How are you? I'm drinking Pinot because I'm at a pool league. Well, hello. Cassie's drinking Love Drunk. Oh, God, I love Love Drunk. Uh, Beatrice is having a Prosecco. Um, okay, so it looks like Clog is drinking it too. Very earthy. Um, some spice. I think I'm congested a little bit, y'all, <laughs> which is not helping me right now. All right, here we go. I'm definitely getting a hint of spice, and it's it is earthy. It is earthy. Um, Elsie's drinking jam jar. She's gonna pick up her OPP tomorrow. My brother finally got mine. I hope to get it before he drinks it. Yeah, listen. All right, here we go. Let's 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 taste it. You know that's the best part, tasting it. And I'm gonna take a look at my wheel while I'm sipping real quick and see what I. Black cherry. I smell black cherry. Mmm. That spice is, um, you get that spice. It finishes with a spice. Are you getting that too, ladies? For those of you who are drinking it with me. Hey, joining late with no wine. Oh my God, Adrian, you don't have an extra bottle in the house? You always got to keep a bottle on deck. Listen, bottle on deck. Always keep a bottle on deck. <laughs> Always have extra wine in the house, y'all. I haven't taught y'all nothing. I haven't listen, listen. <laughs> I'm late, but ne better than <laughs> better late than never. Facts, okay. The color is beautiful. Now, what color would you guys consider this? What, what would you call this? It is a very, it's a pretty ruby color, especially in the light. You guys might not be able to see it from where you are, but from where I am. I'm on the camera. It's a really pretty ruby color. Um, it's it's good. It's it's got some spice to it, but I will say it's not very peppery, which I like. It's not a peppery spice. Um, okay. Adrian said I'm messing up, people. Cause I'm feeling the Shayla Renato vibe and I'm paying attention. Oh no, we don't want you to get in trouble. Um, today's my first time joining. Ah, well, Adrian, welcome. Welcome to the wine family. We're here every Wednesday at 8.30. Okay, what are you guys pairing with your wine? Y'all told me to tell y'all ahead of time what I was drinking. I told y'all ahead of time and y'all ain't picking up. I think two or three people got the bottle tonight. <laughs> is it sweet? It is not sweet. Now, if you're new here, we have something here at Black Girls Wine called a transition wine. This, and, and okay, to tell you what a transition wine is, a transition wine means if you're currently a sweet drinker, like you like um, you like a, um, a Lambrusco, you like a Moscato, you like your sweet wines, and you're trying to um, expand your palate into drier varietals, then we have wines that kind of are like a stair step to get you there. Okay, and those are what we call transition wines. This wine is neither sweet nor transition. This is for my professional winos who've been at this a while and they've graduated a while ago. So you're a little more seasoned, your palate's a little more seasoned and you're gonna really, you would enjoy this. Now, what am I pairing with this? Now, for those of you who know, um, starting back in like November, December, I started to cut meat out of my diet. I am pescatarian um, and I'm working on cutting the seafood out by the end of this year. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. Um, but the the so I don't eat a lot of meat. <laughs> um, but if I were going to pair this with something, I would pair this. Hello, Adil. I hope I said that right. Or is it Addy Lax Laxo? Um, hello, hello. If I were going to pair this with something, I would pair this with a good steak, okay? I'm not a huge steak person, but... I would pair this with a good steak. For all of my plant-based eaters, I would do eggplant. I really like sweet potato, y'all. That's one of my favorite foods. I would chop up some sweet potato, add a little cinnamon and brown sugar and roast it and pair that with it. It would be a really good, tasty pairing. Um, and yes, Alicia said Pinot Noir is not a transition wine. It is not. So if you are uh, new 
uh, to the world of wine. This one I would not suggest if you are if if you are new in your journey. Don't take a leap off the board just yet. Uh, save this for next year. Let's grow you there, okay? Um, hi, Cassia. Y'all, y'all ain't tell me my my hair was sticking out. Okay, hold on. <laughs> All right, Pinot Noir is my fave. Chanel, if Pinot Noir is your fave, you're going to love this one. Now, our next giveaway question, because I love, I, I'm just, I like popping away giveaways today. Agreed, it's a bold enough Pinot to hold a steak. It really is. It is. Mason Noir is not in Maryland, and they don't ship to Maryland. Oh, Lord. It will pair well with seafood, butternut squash, or a black bean burger. That's awesome. Adrian, I agree on the black bean burger. And you know what? If you like a Beyond Burger for all of my vegetarians, um, or, you know, a Beyond Burger would be really good as well. Um, I would drink this with seafood. To me, this Pinot Noir would be great with a herb salmon. Um, especially since like if the, and you don't want to use like a, not a spicy herb, nothing with kick or anything. Um, just a simple garlic um you know garlic salted maybe a little um rosemary that would pair well with this um rioja is my new fave i do enjoy a good rioja i do i do mm. now let's talk rating um for rating this wine i'm gonna tell you guys something I'm going to rate this wine a 10. To me, this Pinot, it is, to me, this Pinot is perfect for a girl's night with your girls who are, you know, regular wine drinkers. You might want to have a jam jar, a bottle of like jam jar nearby. Um, <laughs> for those who are have not quite graduated to the Pinot Noir world, but if they have graduated, this is a perfect girl's night Pinot. It is a smooth, easy drinker. I didn't chill this. Um, I don't like my reds chilled. You could chill it just a little if you want. Pop it in the fridge for like 10 to 15 minutes and then take it out. Um, a pasta or risotto, you could do that too. I've cut my carbs, so I'm trying to like lean out a little bit. Um, but I would give this OPP a 10. Yes, Adrian said a 10. Wow, yes. So we're getting ready to do another giveaway. But first, I want to tell you guys about the retreat this year. Now, the retreat is a tropical theme, hence my look for tonight. Look, I got the bangles. I had the music for you guys. Um, I, the the chini, <laughs> Okay, Letitia said chilling Pinot Noir is against the law. I do agree. You will be um, found guilty in the court of the wine family. So if you chill your Pinot Noir, just keep it to yourself, okay? Um, <laughs> so this year's retreat, the theme is Tropical Wine Paradise. And we're going to be sending out um, details on Sunday. All of our uh, society members already have the details. They've got a sneak peek of what's coming. The full schedule is posted. There will be five wine classes. And something that I'm really excited about that's included this year that we didn't have last year is I met the inventor of Wine Game. It's an app, and I met the inventor. It's a lot of fun when you play with a room full of people. I had the honor of guest judging two competitions here in Richmond for Wine Game, and we are going to host the Black Girls Wine version right here at the retreat this year. So I'm really excited about that. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then after the weekend's over, that Saturday evening, we're going to have a blind tasting for all the attendees. Now listen, you... <laughs> we're going to teach you all weekend, then we're going to test you on what you know, okay? There's going to be a lot of fun involved. Like I said, we're going tropical, the theme is tropical wine experience. So we're going to have all, um, all of our black chefs preparing your meals for the weekend. And we'll be pairing it with different varietals that are going to go perfect with our tropical menu. Now, um... Rose and watermelon. Ashley, is that you? Oh, said, oh, I can't wait for the retreat. I'm still on a high from the ATL retreat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy to hear that. We had a lot of fun at the ATL retreat. And this year, again, we like to keep this experience intimate because we want to be um, able to bring you all the goodness. So... 
This retreat is going to be everything. And this year is actually um, not. Okay, Ashley, I was wondering if that was you. Hey, girl. <laughs> um, this year is actually not even as expensive as it was last year because we did not include room and board so that we could allow people to stay where they want. Um, and we got a two story building that we're renting for the weekend. And you will be, listen, Ladies, I'm telling you, this is not the retreat to miss. I had a full-on consultation with our event coordinator for this year's retreat. It's going to be amazing. So if you want to attend and you want to make sure you get in that number, because I am sure that this is going to book out by the end of March. So, Ashley, Cassie said hello. Cassie said yes to the ATL retreat. We had so much fun. Donna said yes, ATL was fire. Listen, I'm so happy to hear that. Um, Listen, that's the kind of feedback you like to hear, right? That people are like really hyped and really sharing that they enjoyed themselves. So, Okay, Ashley said, yes, I hope it's in Virginia. Please say I'm literally drink drinking from the bottle. Guess what? I have good news. This year's retreat is actually here in Richmond, Virginia. I decided to do it in my hometown for a couple of reasons. But the main reason is because last year at the retreat, the lady said they had never been to Richmond. And they asked me some of the things that I um, loved about RVA. And when I started telling them, they were like, this sounds like an amazing place. RVA, RVA, Richmond, Virginia, is a very special city. We have tons of unique uh, restaurants. We have, oh, we have hundreds of locally owned, locally grown restaurants. Richmond is a city of its kind. We're in the top 10 in the country for foodies as a foodie city we have festivals every single weekend between like april and october with all different kinds of food and features so that's one of the things that you'll get to do on saturday night that's the only meal that's not included because we want everybody to get a chance to explore this city so listen it's gonna be a, a grand time if you don't want to miss it just make sure that you're on our email list which you can sign up on at blackgirlswine.com okay all right, let's do this next giveaway. I'm too excited and so ready for the food and the black people. Girl, it's going to be everything. Chanel said she wants to go. Chandra said she would love to go. We'll definitely get on the email list. And if you are a society member, remember, guys, if you're a society member, you get a discount. You get a discount off of the retreat price. All you have to do is DM us or shoot us an email and we'll send you your code so you can go ahead and sign up. There's only 20 spaces and I'm going to remind you guys all throughout the next month so that you get a chance to go, okay? Come through. So excited. And by the way, Cassie actually says she misses you. This is funny talking to two screens and sharing messages. <laughs> all righty. So, um, I can drive to Richmond. Andrew says she's driving to Richmond. Andrea, we are ready for you. Drive, girl. Andrea Riley said she's interested in being an ambassador. We have all that information on our website, Andrea, so you can apply for your city. Um, shoot that DM right on over. Go ahead, shoot it over. And let's, um, I found you when you first started before and haven't taken full advantage. Wine girl here. Girl, yes, take advantage. It is time to jump in, okay? The society has a lot going on, and I want you guys to know I'm announcing it tonight. And for those of you who are on our list, you're actually going to get this email. <clears throat> Membership is closing for the society on Friday. Okay? Don't say I didn't warn you, okay? So when you see this email come up later on, and when you see my email come through on Friday, because you know I like to send y'all a little love note every once in a while for me personally, uh, membership is closing on Friday. So what does that mean? That means open enrollment for the Black Girls Wine Society is going to be a couple of months a year. Literally a couple. So that means if you want a chance to be on the yacht, if you want a chance to go on our trips, and yes, I am planning a Mardi Gras and Carnival theme tasting for next February. I sure am. I sure am. And it's going to be for members only. Okay. <laughs> um, listen, Clagair, Cla Cla I'm going to say that wrong. Forgive me, sister. <laughs> Forgive me, society sister. She said when you're a member already, she is winning. Okay. Listen, when you're a member, 
this is what it is. Like you, you just get hyped because you know you already in there. Membership is closing on Friday. So that means if you're interested in joining, you can go ahead and sign up before Friday. After Friday, membership is closing until our next open month. And I'll let you know when it's open again. But you won't know right now. Just know it's closing. Okay? So membership's closing on Friday. And we will reopen when we reopen. Mm. So if you're trying to hang with us and all of our events from here on out will be members only as well. So I just want to, Kay, hey Kay. Okay, I was like, Kay, this name, I can't tell what I'm looking at. <laughs> um, okay, I'm just letting you guys know from now on, like all of our events are closed. We got some real special things happening in 2020 and we got to take care of our members. Look, I take care of mine, okay? <laughs> all right, let's get into this next giveaway. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Let's get into this next giveaway. All right, drop a wine glass if you went ahead and share the video on Facebook and Instagram. So on Instagram, you share by hitting that little uh, envelope thing. <laughs> I guess it's an envelope. You hit that envelope and kind of it'll send it off to some of your friends. Let them know that you're live or share it in your stories. Let them know that you're watching us. And if you are on Facebook, you hit that share button and share it with all your friends on your feed. Um, you have to share the video in order to win. Okay. Chanel says she's signing up after this. Girl, sign up, honey. Sign up. It's serious. And let me tell you guys something, because a lot of you may say, well, what if there's no chapter in my city? We have a lot of benefits to the society outside of our monthly meetups. And you can always, when you're traveling, attend a monthly meetup near you or something like that. But just having access to everything we have going on alone. I'm going to tell y'all something. I just might be in talks with a major wine brand about curating a special event in Los Angeles. So shout out to all of our West Coast members who are always like, we need some stuff too. I got something special coming. I just want to let y'all know. Oh, wait a minute. Y'all, my music just stopped. Like Siri was not trying to let me be great. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? All right, y'all ready? Okay, here's the question. OPP is made by Andre... Mac, where? If you could tell me where this is made, where this Pinot is grown, where are these grapes grown, where is this wine made, you are going to be the next winner, okay? All right, so I'm going to wait for you guys to drop that answer. And Nicole Denise said, hey, girl, hey, this is my first live. How do you sign up? So, Nicole, you can go to blackgirlswine.com and in our menu, you know how all the websites have the menu over in the corner. Hit that menu button and click society. It's going to open up to a whole nother world. Blackgirlswinesociety.com. <laughs> but you can just go to blackgirlswine.com and get all the information for the society there. After Friday, the whole membership page and site is going to be taken down and it's going to change. Because... After Friday, guess what? You have to apply to be a member. I know you heard that. After Friday, you got to apply to be a member. So that means you might be on a wait list. And I can tell y'all right now, some of these cities, we have full chapters. There's already a wait list. Atlanta, Richmond. New York, Dallas, I think Baltimore, um, and we have chapters across the country, but some of them are already full, so I'm telling y'all, y'all better not waste no time. Okay, let's see who won. So Kay answered correctly, and Andrea answered correctly. This wine is made in Oregon, specifically in Willamette Valley. Congratulations, ladies. You are the winners. Adrian said, I'm all signed up. Woo! Thank you, Alicia, for sharing that. Alicia is the ambassador over the Baltimore chapter. Um, what about NOLA? We have a chapter in New Orleans. Miss Daphne is the New Orleans chapter leader, so you might want to hop on it, all right? Because membership is closing, y'all. It's not a game. It is not a game. All righty. So, I feel like I've made all my announcements tonight. My ambassadors, for all of my ambassadors and members, did I forget anything? Um, 
you will be able to sign up for the retreat starting on Sunday for all of the non-members. If you sign up for uh, the Black Rose Wine Society tonight and join and you are ready to get your member discount to go to the retreat, I will send you the link to you directly before Sunday. We will send it to you directly. Um, DC. So we are, we have a couple of people who are currently interviewing and in the process of joining DC. We should have a DC chapter by the time of uh, by April. We should have a DC chapter by April. So if you're interested in joining and making sure you don't miss the, miss the look, don't miss it. Cause the, the retreat is this retreat going to book out before the end of March y'all. And I'm not adding any more slots. I'm not. Because I like an intimate experience. I like an intimate feel. I like a... Not to mention the fact that we also are going to Baltimore. We are also going to Mexico this year. And Napa has maybe two more slots available. So if you want to go to Napa with us in April, there's only two more slots. I live in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Would I join the Baltimore chapter? Yes. Join the Baltimore chapter. Um, the DC chapter will be la will be launching in April. Will you need volunteers? I will need volunteers, and we usually let our volunteers attend fifty percent off because we don't work you too hard. We let you enjoy yourself. So we usually have our volunteers and allow them to come for um, half the price since we will have them working this year. Since we do have an upstairs and a downstairs, you'll work a little bit, but you will get to participate and stuff. So usually our volunteers we let uh fifty percent off. Letitia, I want to join too. Letitia, you are in the society. Bye. <laughs> or starting one in Bowie, Maryland. Listen, I know it's plenty of wineries up there. You could do it. Oh, my birthday's in April. Well, then, Kay, you need, uh, Kay, are you going with us to Napa? Because the Napa trip is going to be everything. Everything. I'm excited. Okay, so this wine got a 10. All right, this one is a 10 and 50% off. Yes, volunteers attend at 50% off. I'm back. I had to open up a new bottle. I was looking for a wine opener. You know what, Ashley? <laughs> Tony and Andrea, I do events all over Maryland, albeit only in April. So that's something to be um to think about. If you're in Maryland and you want to join the Baltimore chapter, Alicia does travel. Is there ability to have another chapter in Maryland in which I would love to be an ambassador for that mid-Maryland sector? Let me know. There's an ability. I'm open. Are there any in Crozet, Virginia? There are so many wineries there. I think somebody asked me about starting a chapter in Crozet. I have not been there, but I do. I am familiar that there are wine, a lot of wineries there. We need an ambassador. Listen, go to the website, apply. Go for it. And by the way, y'all. 20 slots okay so make sure you're on the list go to blackgirlswine.com first and foremost when you get off this live tonight and make sure you are on the list so that you don't miss any announcements and so that you don't miss the chance to register for this retreat now i somebody asked me so i'm gonna go ahead and say it yes there's a chapter in raleigh but tanya is our leader for the chapter in raleigh she's amazing she's also on the leadership team here at the black rose wine society so definitely uh check that out sorry i've been drinking menage a trois tonight then the live popped up. <laughs> okay, we are happy to have you. Um, let's see. Yes, let's do it. So, hey, Tishy. Um, what? I, I feel like I was answering a question. I forgot. There's a Raleigh chapter. We're open to members. Um, Los Angeles chapter. We do have some people that have applied for Los Angeles and somebody else did is there a southern california chapter i need you to be specific because i'm not from california so i'm not sure like what particular city you're looking for but we do have a san francisco chapter if that's considered what you're referring to as southern california <laughs> i'm closer to dc than baltimore and i'd be interested in starting a chapter also listen for all of you who are interested in starting a chapter just go to the website blackrosewine.com click society in the menu and explore the black rose wine society website okay look around at what's required look around at what's coming up look around at all of that and if you decide after you look at what's required to be an ambassador that you are the girl to do it in your city then definitely apply all right we're currently in the interviewing process and we're actually moving on to phase two for new chapters so if you're going to apply now is the time to do it all right so uh, you are more than welcome to apply. Yes, you are definitely more than welcome to apply to be a DC ambassador. 
Thank you, Chanel. Thank you. All right, y'all. Guess what? I am out of here. It has been fun tonight talking to y'all about all this great wine. If you are in our Black Girls Wine uh, family group over on Facebook, make sure you join us tomorrow night because we're actually having a watch party, okay? We are watching She Did That. And if you've never been to one of our watch parties, I'm gonna tell y'all, it is so much fun. We have a blast. And I mean a full-on look. A dang good time. We act a fool, okay? So, if you want to, and this one's going to be really fun because she did that as a very, um, it's a woman's, it's an empowering uh, film. It was, it was created and filmed and done by a black woman for black women with black women. Um, so, I'm really excited about tomorrow night. I actually waited and didn't watch it. I know some of y'all cheated. I'm not going to call y'all names out, but some of y'all show cheated for the watch party. I know you did, <laughs> but I'm still excited to watch it with you guys and tune in. So if you're on Instagram and you haven't, just search our Black Girls Wine. It's Black Girls Wine Family over on Facebook. It's a private group just for all of us. And we're having our watch party tomorrow night. And we kiki, we talk about wine every single day, all day. You can learn something. You can look, connect with some people in your city, all kinds of stuff. Okay. Um, and that group does get a lot of previews and there's always an after show which is where I'm headed right now. Thank you for tuning in this week. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Stay tuned on your timelines because I'll be, you know, dropping plenty of pictures, maybe even a video you want to check out. Uh, I appreciate you. Cheers and have a good night. Thank you, Miss Ashley. <laughs> All right, Facebook. See y'all in the group.